What's up guys, Jarv here and we're back again with some Destiny 2. Now today we're taking another look at the Service Revolver Hand Cannon. This is going to be a fantastic weapon come Season 7 because of the recent nerfs to Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten. So if you want to find out how to get it, stick around. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating and if you're brand new here, be sure to hit subscribe. But without further delay, let's jump in. So in Bungie's update this week, there was some interesting information on some changes that are coming to two much sought after weapons. These are the Lunar's Howl and the Not Forgotten Hand Cannons. Now the current plan is to make both of those 150 RPM precision hand cannons, which will maintain some aspects of their current behavior whilst taking on the firing speed and the damage of the 150 archetype. As for Magnificent Howl, that will be adjusted so it increases only body shot damage resulting a two headshot, one body kill. So there's some interesting changes, but because of those, a gun like the Service Revolver, which is more readily available to more players, albeit behind RNG, potentially with the right role, this could potentially go head to head, if not surpass the ability of those hand cannons. So with all that information in mind, where do we get the Service Revolver from? So if you head over to Commander Zavala, you'll see he has it here in his inventory. Now the role that he has isn't fantastic. Outlaw's end moment means you have great stability, but you're probably looking for something like Kill Clip just to reduce that time to kill and arrange masterwork to help increase the range. Now an important thing to remember is the service revolver just won't drop on its own. You first need to complete either season six completions, this particular triumph here. And if you haven't, then you need to make sure that you head over to your collections to see if you've unlocked it in Warmind. If you've done either one of those two things, it can drop as an RNG drop. If you have neither, then you'll need to complete the triumph for season six to make sure that it drops. Now, in terms of where it drops, it will drop from any of the daily mission milestones, any of the strike milestones, any of the nightfall milestones. And as well as that, Hawthorne does also have some Vanguard engrams. So make sure to head on over to her to see if you can get it to drop from her. Now in terms of the best place to get it to drop, I would say the Nightfall is absolutely the best place to do that. If you use your Five of Swords like I am here, with a heavyweight arc with the lowest possible modifier, you can fly through Nightfalls no problem, especially as a fire team. Now as ways to increase your tokens though, you can use Boon of the Vanguards. Make sure you're popping these at the beginning of every strike. If you need to get some more of these, if you head back to Zavala, he has them in his second inventory on the right here and you can buy them for legendary shards. So make sure you collect those just in case you need them. As well as this though, make sure you do pick up the bounties. The bounties themselves do offer five tokens each and they do refresh daily. So they will add to your token haul as you're trying to increase your tokens before handing those in. So make sure you don't miss out on at least 25 tokens per day from Zavala. It doesn't stop there though guys. If you head on over into your collections and go to season three, See if you have this Sway shell here. This particular shell has a random roll mod, which means it can drop with a Vanguard Scavenger mod. Now you do need to purchase it with Bright Dust, so you may need to buy a few, but once you've got that, that will also help increase the tokens you get from each of the Vanguard strikes that you choose to run. Now in terms of optimum efficiency, naturally running as a fire team will heap the biggest rewards. You can all pop boons of the Vanguard, so you'll get potentially up to three groups of tokens as well as the tokens itself for completing the strike. Now on a bad run you could get around 17 as a fire team and on a good run you could get up to 25 and considering you only need 20 for a rank up you're almost guaranteeing yourself a rank up for every nightfall that you do. If you're doing it solo though you may not be able to do that it will probably take you around two nightfalls or two strikes per rank so it'll take you a little bit longer but you should be able to get those packages that you need for the hand cannon. So if we take a little look here, I've got a gift of the tokens for the Vanguard for my boon, and I got eight tokens for myself for completing the strike. So if I pop that boon, I get an additional six on top of the eight, which gives me enough, more than enough, to get a couple of packages. So we head on back over to Zavala. As you can see, he has the icon flashing, so hopefully he has some good loot for us. So you wanna head back on over to him, and this is where we fingers crossed the RNG blesses us for a service revolver and ideally one with a good roll. As I said at the beginning of the video, 
Going into season seven, this is gonna be one of the most preferred 180 RPM hand cannons in the game. And if you can get one to drop with kill clip, it will be immensely strong in Crucible and will almost guarantee you a free hit kill. So as you can see with the one that I got, I got opening shot and range finder with high caliber rounds to increase that range and also a reload masterwork. So not the most fantastic role, but that range finder will definitely help with those longer range engagements. But there we have it guys, that's a reminder of how to get the service revolver and the sort of roles you wanna be looking for going into season seven. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating on this one and share with your friends. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future Destiny content. I'm going to jump back into Destiny as always, and I will catch you guys again very soon. Peace.